is on how to extract DNA from a strawberry. My aim is to find out if, like all living things, a strawberry, a fruit, has DNA. So, my method is take 90 milliliters of water, mix it with 10 milliliters of dishwashing liquid. You can also use shampoo, but I found that dishwashing liquid works the best. Put that in here. Then you take your salt, you take a quarter teaspoon of salt, or you can just measure it like this. And you can mix it all together. You must, it's important not to make too many bubbles, otherwise the project doesn't really work properly. You just stir until you can't see any more salt and everything has become one. As you can see, a little bit of salt at the bottom of here, but that'll be it. It'll be fine. Then you take strawberry, you put it in a Ziploc bag. You just try not to get too much air in here. And you close it all up. Then you push the strawberry. So you can get as much liquid out of it as possible. So you just continue to squish it up. That should be fine. Then you pour the mixture that you made in earlier into the bag. And you just pour it on the side like this. So again, it doesn't make too many bubbles. Then you close it up again. And you can just mix them together. And pour it back into the jug because it's easy, it's easier to pull from here. Then from here you can pour it into a little test tube like this. It's important to have a little thin top over here. You can also use a vase, but as long as it's just a small over here so it can get there. You put your little tea strainer over here so you don't get all that debris in here. should be fine. Then you take the isopropyl, it's a type of very highly concentrated alcohol. You take five moles of this. I'll use my syringe. And just before I pour it, I'll put my gloves on. Because if this gets on your skin, it can burn quite badly. Then you gently squeeze it into here. white specks arising to the top over here. This is actually the DNA of a strawberry. And you can take your tweezers and once it's gathered at the top, you can take it out. I'll just wait for a little bit. As 
So the reason this all happened is because the dishwashing liquid, it separates the membranes of the strawberry, which allows the DNA to come through. The salt, it, it can dissolve in water, but it can't dissolve in alcohol. So when you put it, when you poured it into there, into with the strawberry juice, then it sort of clung to the DNA. So when you, and then 